Madras High Court has dismissed a plea seeking to ban the Tamil blockbuster Marsal. The movie with stars Tamil movie actor Vijay is in the news for having some dialogues critical of GST and Digital India. The court held that the people's right to freedom of speech and expression applies to movies as well and dismissed the petition as devoid of any merit. The plea contended that the movie had scenes against India's sovereignty, integrity and security. Now, the High Court bench noted how political parties continue to criticise the government schemes like demonetization and GST and ruled out passing a gag order against political parties or movies as that would infringe on the constitutional right or freedom of speech. Marisol released on October 18, which is the day of Diwali and had stirred the hornet's nest with the BJP's Tamil Nadu unit taking exception to references on GST and Digital India. The controversy seems to have helped the movie makers fill their coffers. Now, just to dissect and analyse what this means today and what really happened in court, former Advocate General of Tamil Nadu, PS Raman, joins us on the phone line. Uh, he's also the counsel for Marisol's producers. Sir, thanks so much for speaking with us on Bloomberg Quinn. Considering the court dismissed the plea ab initio, would you say this was a big win for free speech at the Madras High Court? Absolutely. In fact, um, the Madras High Court division bench didn't even uh, think it uh, necessary to issue notice to the government or to the producers, even though we were ready to take notice if it was issued. They felt that uh, the freedom of speech and expression through the uh, expression through speech as well is equally protected under Article 19 May. And this actually is the line of uh, uh, judgments of uh, the Supreme Court starting way back in 1989 in the celebrated case of S. Rangarajan versus Jagjeevan Ram. Um, I'm going right up to 2011 in Prakash Jha Productions case where they have held that expressing one's opinion on a matter of uh, public debate, nobody can uh, have any quarrel with that. And uh, once the film has gone through a certification by the Central Board of Film Censors, that's the end of the matter. Thereafter, the court is not going to review that. Right, and that's exactly what has happened in the present case as well. Right, Mr. Raman, you know, it's interesting because uh, last year around, it was, it was a similar situation. Well, not entirely. The facts of the case were different, of course. But with Urta Punjab, the Bollywood blockbuster here uh, at the Bombay High Court. And I, and I remember it was, the film was eventually cleared after days of hearing with one cut. But, or, you know, arguments were made from both sides. It's been a different situation here with uh, Marcel, hasn't it? Yeah, I, I do remember reading about the uh, matter in the Bombay High Court and... Uh, I mean, it's a, it's a viewpoint. I mean, finally, they did uh, go ahead with the release, though, as you said, they had uh, indicated some cuts in the matter. But uh, Madras High Court, we have consistently taken this view, you know, um, the about uh, seven, eight years back, again, sometime around 2006, 2007, almost 10 years back, when that famous Dava, the um, film, uh, you know, the one with... Uh, um, uh, Tom, uh, I think Tom Cruise or somebody, Dan, Dan Brown's film uh, was released in uh, Tamil Nadu. There were some uh, religious outlets which felt that it was showing Christianity in bad light and uh, the state government actually banned the film. And uh, learned single judge of the court relying on uh, Jagjeevan Ram's uh, case, that is the Rangarajan's case. Right. Struck down the band, struck down the band, saying you have no right to ban the release of the film. Right. And uh, you can't say it law and order as an issue. Right. And, and good eight years later, same thing happened to Kamala Hassan's issue, Rupam. Right, right. No, and and, this, that, and, and that again, they cited public order. They said that if the film is released, that may be communal rioting, etc. Yes, yes. So Madras High Court said, look, <laughs> maintaining law and order is the state's problem. Mm -hmm. If public can't, uh, if some sections of the public can't take a viewpoint, uh, then it's too bad for them. They'll have to just grin and bear it. Right, but also, Mr. Raman, you know, because uh, also in this situation, is it also because the censor board really had already cleared the film? So does that have, does that really have any impact on 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 what happened today, dismissing it uh, right at the start? Um, come again? I didn't get you. Sorry. Considering the censor board had already cleared the movie, sir, does, <laughs> that has a bearing on it. That's exactly the point. In fact, uh, in that Yasranga uh, Rajam versus Jagjeevan Ram as well as in Prakash Jha's case, the point the Supreme Court has laid down is that under the Cinematograph Act, there is a body constituted called the Central Board of Films and Sorts, which comprises of various people, stakeholders, people in the arts, people from the public, etc., social workers, 
And once they have seen a film and they have felt it good enough to uh, certify it for public exhibition, there cannot be a second review over that by courts or by public itself. The public can't say, no, no, even though censor certificate has been given, we think this particular scene is bad, that particular dialogue is bad, and try to go to town on that and uh, you know, stop for the film's uh, uh, release being you know, uh, stopped or even to disrupt the continued exhibition of the film. Courts have come down on that very heavily and said nothing doing. Right, Mr. Raman. In fact, in fact, the only aberration in this entire thing, I think, is some years back, when the water riparian rights issue between some states in the south, southern, southern India was heading to a slightly boiling point, both Kaveri as well as Mullai Periyar. At that time, one particular film which dealt with that issue uh, was stopped, and the Supreme Court somehow started that uh, for a small period of time, they said the film should not be released. That's possibly a only aberration I can think of on freedom of speech and expression. Right with regard to right. future films. Mr. Raman, thanks so much for taking our time and joining us on Prime Time. Well, it turns out a big win for free speech at the Madras High Court.